called on the God of Israel. He does not call on anybody else. Somewhere in this thing, Jabez got touched and hooked up with Jesus. Somewhere he must have got in touch and heard about God. And even though his name means pain, he's going to God who can deliver. God who can set free. I'm not going in the operation of my name. Because my name is pain. But I'm going to the one who can heal, heal me of my pain. Woo! He goes to God of Israel and watch this. He says, O. H O. O S H rather. O H. I'm not talking about a direct address today. This word today, O H means I ask. O. He goes at first part, he goes and says, God of Israel. Before I go any further, I want to say this and suggest to us, he must have heard what God can do, the God of Israel, opposed to all the other gods. Amen. And must have heard what God, the true and living God, can do and will do. So he goes to God of Israel, oh, I ask that you will bless me and you. He goes in a prayer. I'm pain. I cause pain, mm -hmm. but I'm going to God in prayer. Amen. Bless me mm -hmm. in thee. Yeah. I ask you bless me in thee. The word bless means bestow favor. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I am pain. I, I can't say that enough. I am pain, but I'm going to you, yeah. the God of Israel. I ask you to bless yeah. me in thee. What's this? And at least they're saying, and I suggest to us, he's not going based on his name. Amen. He's going to God beyond his name. Amen. <laughs> right. Bless me in thee. Bestow a favor on me. Yeah. Indeed means truly and surely. Don't God make no mistake. Yeah. I'm here in earnest prayer, in sincere prayer. I need you to bless me in thee. I need to truly bless me. I need to truly deliver me yes. from my name. Yes. Yes. Watch this. I don't want you to deliver me from anybody else. I need you to deliver me from me right now. Because right now I'm my worst enemy yes. because I'm pain and I cause pain. Amen. <laughs> so wait a minute. At least I'm saying here that evidently Jabez looked at his life, looked at his condition, looked at his situation. And start to reflect and do inventory of his life. Does inventory of his walk with God. He does inventory. And I need you to bless me in need. I need you to truly bless me. Help me get rid of me. Help me get rid of who I am. Bless me in need. Bestow favor on me. Then he says, this is where everybody walks with this right here. Enlarge my territory. Yeah. Enlarge my borders. Enlarge my boundaries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show you something. You wasn't really so much talking about that. But mm -hmm. everybody looks at this. Enlarge my territory as, 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 as uh, uh, prosperity stuff. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to get in trouble. Really sorry. I ain't coming hey, hey. That's what preachers mess up. Mm -hmm. They take this and, and, and not really look at the text mm -hmm. that he is really. Ask God to go, I'll show you in a minute, and enlarge his territory, but not for him. Yeah. It's not for him. Mm -hmm. It's not for him. Mm -hmm. I'll just give a sneak, sneak thing here. It's for others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anytime God blesses us, it's not always for us. Yeah. It's for somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enlarge, increase, yeah. extend my border, my boundaries. Yeah. But listen to this. To the biblical sense yeah. means to ask or impart supernatural favor. Yeah. To impart supernatural favor. 
When we ask for God's blessings, we are not disputing We are not asking for more of what we can get for ourselves. Nah. Guess that? Mm -hmm. We're not asking for what we can get for ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's not about us. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to ask God to enlarge my territory, I enlarge my territory that others may be blessed through you enlarging the territory. Nah. It's not for me, it's for them. Yeah. That more will come into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. More will be healed, delivered, and set free. Enlarge. Yeah. Mm, he doesn't ask what he can get for himself. We're crying out for the wonderful, the unlimited goodness that only God has power to know about and to give us. He knows exactly what we need. He knows exactly what to give us. And he actually knows exactly when to give us what we need. But my God, Philippians 4.19, but by God, supply all your needs according to riches and glory. His riches and glory. He says need. Watch this. Then he goes on, he says, that your hand, I'm almost done, y'all, that your hand would be with me. He talks in this, this part, third section of verse 10, that your hand would be with me. Really, he said that your hand was guiding me. Yeah. <laughs> I need guidance. Yeah. I can't do this on my own. I cannot make this journey on my own. Yeah. I need your hand to be with me. I need your hand to guide me. I need your hand on me. Yeah. Somebody, 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 you go lay your hand on me, Jesus. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. I like this. How he, how he goes in these, in these different ways in his prayer. He asked God to bless him in need. Yes. <laughs> and then he asked that your hand would be in front of me. And then he says, keep me from evil. Everything that is not like you, keep me from it. <laughs> then he goes on and says, that, that I that I may not cause pain. Even though my name, God, means pain, but I don't want to cause pain. Even though it, 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 the rendering of the word in literally means causes pain or will cause pain, I don't want to cause pain. Yes. And the word cause in the text means no further pain. No. I've already caused enough pain. Ooh, there it is right there. I've already caused enough pain, but I'm coming to the throne of glory. Yeah. I'm coming to God, the throne of glory. Yeah. I don't want to cause no further pain. Yeah. I don't cause no further anguish. I come to you. Yeah. Keep me yeah. from the evil. Yeah. I'm going back to that minute. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. You want me to come back to that? Yeah. Ooh, Jesus. Mm. And this word evil means keep me from trouble. Keep me from bad. Keep me from wickedness. Keep me from wrong. Yes. And he's in pain, pain in this text right here. He said, no, that, that I don't, I don't call, that I don't grieve. That I don't grieve. That I don't grieve you. I don't even grieve myself. Oh, Jesus. And the end of it says, and I'm coming back to all this in a minute. The Lord said the same. The Bible says, so God granted his request. Notice his request. Notice how he re his request. How he asked God, especially at certain points. What he asked. I'm going to come back to it. How, how his prayer was. <laughs> Woo! Jesus. But as I'm going to do, 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 a, do a take away and then come back to what I just, verse 10. But watch this. God, listen to this. God's boundaries yes. is limited only by us. Yes. Right. Yeah. God's boundaries are only limited by us. <laughs> Not by his resources, his power or his willingness to give us. Jabez was simply blessed because he refused to do this. Because he refused, thank you Jesus, I need this for somebody. 
Jabez was blessed simply because he refused to let any obstacle, any obstacle, any person or opinion loom larger than God's blessing. I'm going to say that again for somebody. Come on, I'll get you right now. Good. Jabez was blessed simply, plainly because he refused to let any obstacle, person, or opinion loom larger than God's nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And God, God, and God's nature yeah. is the bless. It's us that hinders our blessing. Yeah. By what people say, mm -hmm. by what people do, yeah. by how people act, Great. and how to come our way, we'll limit God from blessing us. Great. It is God's nature to bless us. Yeah. It's God's nature to deliver us. Yeah. It's God's nature to heal us. Yeah. It's God's nature to set us free. Yeah. It's God's nature. Oh. And the enemy wants to kill what God's nature is. But somebody else comes and says, the devil is alive. God's nature is a blessing. God's nature is to see me through. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. I want to give you this. His prayer was fourfold. Bless me indeed. Watch this. When he, watch this. He clarified when he said, bless me indeed. Watch this. Give me true happiness. Oh, stop right there. Can I teach this? Yes. True happiness. Yeah. We're walking around. Save, sanctify, pure the Holy Ghost. I don't have time to talks about, this is only found as one prevails and walks with God. This only happens when one prevails and walks truly, authentically with God. <laughs> it can't happen any other way. If you want true happiness, if I want true happiness, it's got to be through God. It's not through a person, not through people, because people will let you down. But God, that we serve a true and living God, will never let you down. Never. He will stay true yes. when people are not true. Mm -hmm. He will stay true. Yeah. Authentically. Yeah. Stay true to you. Mm -hmm. Be encouraged. Mm -hmm. Be strengthened. Yeah. True heaviness comes through God. Yeah. Then he says, enlarge my post, my territory. Mm -hmm. He was not content to go on with only what he had. He would enter into the to enjoy more of the inheritance of the Lord. Enjoy the blessings of the Lord. True enjoyment. Life is to be enjoyed. I read this. I got a personal note and I'm going to take one personal note here. That true happiness is not to be picked on somebody. No, that's right. It's not to be picked on an individual. Mm -hmm. It's when God gives you true, authentic, total true happiness. Yes. <laughs> Watch this. He counted on God's protecting care. He counted on God's protecting care. He knew. He heard yes. that God will protect him. 
He will truly, authentically protect him. Have you been in a situation where God protected you? Yeah. Yeah. When the enemy thought you were going to go out, but God protected you, has protected you, has shielded you, has kept you, the, the hand of God was upon you and shielded you from danger. Seen and unseen. <clears throat> Lastly, he prayed, keep me from evil, that it might not make me sorrowful, that I don't regret. Mm, I don't walk and live in regret. Keep me from evil, keep me from sorrow. Watch this as I'm about to close. Sin can only rob a child of God of his joy in the Lord. Amen. Only sin can rob a child of God from enjoying the Lord. <laughs> Jabez sought the Lord. He's in verse 10. He sought the Lord for guidance. He sought the Lord to help him Walk the walk that God was pleased with. And if I have sought, have sought the Lord, God rewarded him. Mm -hmm. mm. This gives me this leads me to understand that when God, when we seek God and seek him authentically, genuinely, God will reward us. It's in the text, in verse 10. Mm -hmm. He granted his request. Yeah. May God strengthen us to follow Jabez's example. But let me go back to 10 for just a minute. I'm closing. He prays to God of Israel. He asked him to bless him, restore blessings on him. Truly bless me, God. Extend my turn, my borders. But here's what I want to deal with just a minute. He asked God for this, to bless him, Enlarge the territory. Yeah. Bestow favor on him. He asked all this. And the biblical says that it means that he imparted supernatural favor on Jabez. Mm -hmm. Watch this. He says that your hand be with me. Your hand will guide me. Yeah. I don't know about y'all. I need the hand of God to guide yeah. me. Yeah. There's some stuff that's going on that's crazy. Uh, in this time of a pandemic, and I heard someone say this morning for a service, we don't know how long we've been this thing. We don't know how long, but 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 I need God's hand to guide me. I need God's hand to protect me in this pandemic. I need God to just move mightily in my life like never before in this pandemic. I need you, God. I need you like never before to help me out. God, make me better yes. for your glory. Put your hand yes. on me. I don't mind. I need you to guide me. But here's what I'm yes. going he, said, he says, keep me from evil. Yes. The word keep me is a whole battle. Yeah. Every time, I want to demonstrate just for a minute, I'm, I'm coming home. He says that you will keep me from evil. Mm -hmm. That I cause no further pain. He said this, and that's what he said, that when I come near evil, yeah. I need you to grab me by my collar yeah. and pull me back. Yeah. When I walk forward in the sin and the evil and all the bad things of the world, yeah. I need to grab me by my collar and pull me back. Yeah. Yeah. I need to yeah. keep me from evil. I need to yeah. keep me from sin. Yeah. God, grab me. Yeah. Grab my arm, grab my shoulder, yeah. grab me, and pull me back. My desire is not to do evil. My desire is not to cause you pain, not to cause you anguish. God, pull me back. Yeah. I, need your, I need your mighty hand to go on, be guided. But not only guided, I need you to, to pull me back. Yeah. 
back from even me snatched me back. Everything that ain't like you, everything that isn't like you, snatched me back. Pull me back. Keep me in righteousness. Keep me in holiness. Keep me doing your will. God, pull me back.
from evil. Yeah. Maybe there's someone who desires prayer. Mm -hmm. If there's such a person, can you raise your hand? Put your foot here, I got you. Anyone else? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Most gracious and all wise Father, yeah. we thank you again for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings you have stored upon us. And even what you yet to do, we thank you. Often tell you, God, you better to us than we are to ourselves, whereby we're glad or not. We thank you, God. As Jabez prayed, God, we pray that you'll keep us from evil. Keep us, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that we'll walk right before you. Search us, your people. Search us thoroughly. Take out everything in our lives that's not of you. Strengthen us where we're weak and build us up where we're doing now. Make us yeah. the servants you are calling for in these last and evil days. Make us better, God, for your glory. God, Brother Jerry, Jerry asked for prayer. You touch. You strengthen Gary. Mm -hmm. Move mightily in his life. Yeah. Strengthen Gary where he's weak, then where he's torn down. And touch his body with your mighty hand of healing. Yeah. From the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Yeah. We speak and declare strength and healing be upon his body yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. All of our sick, God, we pray healing mm -hmm. and health be upon their bodies. Name by name and one by one. Touch in the mighty and awesome name of Jesus. But I pray, God, you bless those who are going through heavy loads, heavy burdens, God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you lift the burden. In Matthew 11, you said, Come in all your labor and heavy laden. I will give you rest. God, I pray you move on their behalf, God. I pray, God, that you bless God. Those are the, the, that have financial difficulties, God. Yeah. You will touch. You will open doors. Mm -hmm. For you are Jehovah, Jireh. You are the provider. Yeah. Touch and move by your mighty hand. Oh, God, I pray as we're about to partake of the Lord's table that we remember your death and your suffering until you come again. God, move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. Oh, God, that we just not take the Lord's table lightly, but highly reverence your table. Oh, God, help us to God. Help. Oh, God, we pray you make us, again, make us a servant. You're calling for us in this end time. That we'll live a life that's pleasing to you. That we will be happy with our lives. These blessings we ask in Jesus' awesome and mighty name we pray and we do thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We're going to ask the dean to uh, come and give us a little brief little announcements, and then we'll go into the Lord's Supper. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I have a card uh, to thank you. Perhaps you sent a lovely card or sat quietly in a chair. Perhaps you sent a floral piece. If so, we saw it there. Perhaps you spoke the kindest words as any friend should, could say. Perhaps you were not there at all, just thought of us that day. Whoever did, whatever you did to the soul our hearts, we thank you so much, whatever the part. The family of Alva Grace. We got Sister Diane, Sister Shelly, Sister. 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 Scripture for the week, Proverbs 23, 11 through 20. Bible study will come from Revelation 2, 25 through 29. The week of November the 14th, 
scripture for the week, Proverbs 23, 21 through 30. Uh, Bible study will come from Revelation 3, 1 through 3. There will be Bible study November the 24th, but there will be no Thanksgiving service on Thanksgiving the 25th. And our scripture for the week comes from Psalms 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27 and 1. Let's keep all the announcements in mind and govern ourselves accordingly. Thank you. Christ's body and blood partaken by the members of the church to commemorate his suffering and death to show their faith and participation in the merits of his sacrifice. His institution. I say the institute of supper at the close of the last partial feast, which he kept with the disciples before he suffered, as they were eating. Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take thee, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. It's obligation. It is not only a privilege for the Christian to receive the supper, it is his duty. It's the duty of every believer to be baptized and duty of every baptized believer to receive the communion of the supper. Take eat, drink ye all of it, divide it among yourselves. This do in remembrance of me. Let no disciple lightly esteem it. It's subject. Those who have a right to the supper are baptized believers who are walking according to the word and will. No others. Our Savior sat down and his 12 apostles with him. It is commemorative. It is designed to commemorate the death of Christ to be a perpetuation, a memorial in his churches and to his people of his sacrifice for their redemption. This do in remembrance of me. This do as all as ye drink in remembrance of me. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24 and 25. It is typical. It not only points the Christian back to the broken body and the bloodshed of our Savior, suffering and death, but also his second coming and the feast and fellowship above. But I say unto you, I will not henceforth take this fruit of vine until that day when I drink it do with you in my Father's kingdom. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth the glory of death and suffering. It is symbolic. And all these things, it teaches symbolically great gospel truths. Why it perpetuates the memorial of the work of redemption by the death of Christ. It is the sign of seal of the love of Christ to the believer in the new coming of grace and a token of his faithfulness. This cup of the New Testament of my blood, or in my blood, even for even Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast out of old leaven, but of unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. 
It is a blessing to be, take, be able to partake of the Lord's Supper one more time. It is not to be taken lightly, but highly reverenced, highly esteemed. Uh, and I take you of the Lord's Supper uh, to commemorate his death and his suffering until he comes again. It, again, it's a blessing and a privilege to take the Lord's Supper one more time. says that he took the cup and the bread and he blessed it. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you for the bread that represents your body, the cup that represents your bloodshed. Change it from a temple use to a spiritual use. Oh God, move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. God, we thank you that you sent your son, and that your son gave his life for us, and that he shed his blood for us. We thank you, God, because uh, what shall wash away our sins? Mm -hmm. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What shall make me white as snow? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What shall make me whole? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We thank you for you give your body and you shed your blood. We pray you bless the cup, bless the participants, God. And those that are at home, take it, God. Bless them as well, God. Bless them in a mighty and an abundant way. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. For your glorious Son, Jesus, we pray. And we thank you. Amen. As you get your elements in your hand, turn off the top layer. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He gave us his very best. He gave us his all for us. He thought, God thought so much of us. And his son Jesus thought so much of us that he gave his life, his body, shed his blood for us. He loved us so much. And we have, we have, we have victory and communion. We don't, I think we don't understand that we come to the table lightly, mm -hmm. particularly, but there, we have victory oh, yes. in the Lord's table. Yes. We have healing in the Lord's table. Yes. Yes. We have all these blessings in God's table yes. that will bless us, that has blessed us. That's why we come to the table mm -hmm. to ask God's blessings. To ask God's blessings.
Uh, the Vengeance Rose, if you have your offering, she has the basket there for your offering. Uh, you can give the, uh, throw it in the basket as you leave. I want to thank Minister Freeman and Minister Travis for the fall uh, decorations. God bless you all and maybe some others. I uh, want to commend you all. Thank you all so much for you uh, thinking about the church and, and uh, decorating the church. Thank you all. God bless you. So Vengeance Rose is going to bring somebody to direct you out about you as we always do.